A month or so back, I made my Afterbirth Plus video, and in this video I called games like Super House of Dead Ninjas, Crypt of the Necrodancer, and Binding of Isaac, roguelikes. Roguelikes to me are one of those genres that are just there. But I mean, for some reason, and your guess is as good as mine, the roguelike about a little baby, the roguelike about a little baby, the roguelike about a little baby, the roguelike about a little baby. This, not surprisingly, caused some people to come out and correct me on the meaning of the term. These games aren't technically roguelikes, but instead in the category of roguelites. Now at the time, I believed that the term was just a different way of saying the same thing. I was way wrong. And after doing a lot of research on the topic, I actually retract a lot of what I said in my original comment. Hey, your boy here is man enough to admit when he's wrong, alright? However, I now believe that there is a new underlying problem with both names, and other names like it in gaming media. You see, both titles of roguelike and roguelite share one thing in common. They both commit the fatal flaw of saying something is like something else. This may surprise a couple people, but Rogue is actually a real game that came out on DOS in 1984. It's crazy! The game is seen as one of the most revolutionary PC games of all time, and has garnered quite a following. The following got so big that people were trying to now make games in the same sort of style. These games were aptly titled Roguelikes. These were made to catch the attention of the same crowd that Rogue had gotten. Cut to 2018, you're hearing this term everywhere. You know that game with the good ass pixel art? It's a roguelike. Want to play more sweater okay? It's a roguelike. I mean, come on, I was interested in this game until I heard it was a roguelike. It's practically become the new sandbox open world in the gaming industry. The issue with these games, other than the oversaturation of them, is the actual name, roguelike. Apparently, these games don't classify as a true roguelike because of how they do not resemble rogue in the slightest and don't follow a specific set of rules. What are these rules, you may ask? Hell if I know! Seriously, the set of rules people have put in place for these games shift from person to person. Some would say that just being procedurally generated is enough. Some would say that having permadeath is enough. Some say it's turn-based combat mixed with those two things is enough. The best resource I could find is a goddamn nine-step checklist that a game would need to follow to be considered a roguelike. Fucking nine steps! You basically gotta do a pre-flight check on every game that claims it's a roguelike on Steam to see if it actually is one. So why is this an issue? It's simple. It's because these names are comparing these games to previous pieces of work that came out years ago. With anything in this damn hobby, you find people comparing newer games with older games. This is done for the reason of getting the fans of another game to be excited for your new one. It's actually a pretty smart tactic to gain attention. I mean, look at how many Kickstarter games proudly present that fact right on their front page. However, this is extremely dangerous for one reason and one reason alone. Fans of a specific game know that fucking game inside and out. So when you are saying that this new game will be like another one, and it does a couple of things differently, or God forbid worse, the comparisons between the two games will never stop. In some games, this can be a good thing. But most of the time, it's a bad thing. Do you want to play a collectathon reminiscent of Rare's Golden Age on the N64? Then just play fucking Banjo Kazooie, you goddamn son of a. A good example of the bad would be I Am Setsuna. All over the marketing for this game, you would hear the comparison of the game to Chrono Trigger. It's a modern day Chrono Trigger! was a phrase heard so much before the release of the game. And it got people hyped! Anywhere this game was mentioned, you'd be like, Oh my god, it's that new Chrono Trigger game! Oh, it's the new game that's like Chrono Trigger! Everyone was talking about this game because of that. This is because Chrono Trigger is one of the best games of all time, and people fucking adore it! So after all that build-up, all those comparisons to Chrono Trigger, did the game live up to the expectations? What are you fucking insane? It was just a decent JRPG. Nothing special, but nothing terrible. Thing is though, game got fucking slammed by fans of Chrono Trigger, and for good reason. It was nothing like Chrono Trigger in terms of its story, characters, and music. The game isn't bad per se, but because it got compared to one of the greatest RPGs of all time, it got all around hated by many people. It's such a shame because the game could truly never live up to Chrono Trigger, but got marketed as such. Tying this back to roguelikes, it's basically the same thing. When you are saying a game is like Rogue, it automatically brings up this idea of it being a new version of Rogue. Rogue is such a revolutionary game for the time that, once again, no game will ever live up to it. 
This is what causes the confusion because it is a thin line on what is and isn't a roguelike. To one person, rogue is all about its procedural generation, so any game that has that mechanic is like rogue in their eyes. To others, it could be the permadeath, and to others, it's a combination of the two. It varies from person to person, so a game like Isaac, in my mind, can be seen as like rogue in a certain way. However, I know it's not the same thing as rogue. Hilariously enough, while I was editing this video, I was listening to the Super Best Friends podcast. And on the podcast, they started talking about this exact thing. Is there a, is there a descriptor for, I guess people use use roguelike to, to mean that, but it's not accurate in my opinion? It is absolutely, completely accurate. And Well, no, no, what the I original, mean is, what I mean the is, rogue game, the original rogue game is very, very different. <laughs> What I'm trying to say is some games that are not at all like Rogue will only uh, be similar in the sense that this game is meant to be start from scratch, do a run, die, start over, yeah. right? And like that's the only similarity, for example. Mm -hmm. And it's like, is that enough to, to use that Well, I, I think that that has become the defining characteristic of Rogue more than anything else about it. The thing I most associate with Rogue likes or things that are like Rogue is the intense randomization that's associated with them. What I would determine a roguelike as the genre, personally, would be your input is going to be under your control, and the game's input or output or whatever towards you is going to be completely randomized, and you're just going to have to deal with it. Yeah, Rogue was, was Frog Fractions 2. Obviously, with all the people who are so passionate about this name, they do want a game that has all the things in that nine-step list. Having a different genre for a game like Dungeons of Dreadmore is perfectly fine. That game should 100% not be in the same category as something like Binding of Isaac. However, calling it a roguelite just brings us back to square one. Once again, we are calling it like Rogue, but this time we are saying it as if it is a lesser version of Rogue. A less challenging and more casualified version of Rogue. How about instead of talking down those types of games, we just not call it like Rogue at all? It's not even rogue that this just happens with. What is the most hated phrase in gaming right now? It's like Dark Souls. Wow, this game is a lot like Dark Souls. Oh my god, the mechanics in this game are like Dark Souls. That is basically what you were doing with roguelike. Comparing games that are kind of like that game, but in the grand scheme of things really aren't. People trying to coin the phrase Souls-like are going to fall into the same trap five or so years from now. Strangely enough, one category in games actually does get away with this. A category where this sort of debate never happens. And that is in Metroidvanias. To me, it seems like a sort of double standard when it comes to this genre. Next to roguelike, this is one of the most common phrases seen in newer indie games. Now I get what they mean by Metroidvania. It's a game with backtracking to previous areas, finding secrets, gaining access to previously locked areas with new abilities, all that type of shit. However, as a fan of Metroid, none of that is really what makes Metroid one of my favorite series. I can't speak as much for Castlevania, but the atmosphere and feeling of loneliness and isolation is what makes those games for me. One of the only games in this genre that has really reached that level for me is Axiom Verge. So for the rest of the games, I would not consider them like Metroid. The term has basically transformed to, you got backtracking? Congrats, you're a Metroidvania! People have said games like Hyper Light Drifter and fucking Dark Souls are Metroidvanias, when really they aren't. All these games really have in comparison to a game like Metroid or Castlevania is the backtrack. What I'm trying to get at in this video is that as a community, we need to try our best to stop fucking doing this. Saying one thing that is loved is like something new is only a recipe for disaster from hardcore fans. I think roguelikes and roguelites are two different things because they are, and they should have two different names. However, it should not be comparing it to Rogue. It should instead create its own new name that has no comparison at all to Rogue. Same should go for Metroidvanias and Soulslikes. Fucking terrible ass name. I suck donkey dick at creating good names, so if anyone else wants to take a crack at creating new names for these genres, fine by me. You don't even have to credit this fucking video, I don't care. I mainly made this video for people like the ones who commented on my Isaac video that truly care about these names. Instead of fighting about which is which, why don't we instead make our own new genres that don't compare these games to a previous work? Then at least we will be getting something productive done. Thanks for watching and I hope this video opened your eyes on just how poorly thought out these names are.